to the first, first impression, pressure. Let's have an overview of some things to know. Located at the northwestern region of Nigeria, it is estimated to be the ninth state in terms of landmass and one of the most populous in the country. Kaduna is bordered by seven other states Kazena, Kanu, and Zamfara to the north, Bochi and Plateau to the east, Nasara to the south, and Niger state respectively to the west. Kaduna vegetation is that of the savanna woodland with its distinctive red soil and rocky terrain in some part of the state. Kaduna soil is rich in iron oxide. Kaduna is rich in natural resources such as the iron ore, columbite and gold. Farming activities is slightly practiced with variety of produces like ginger, soya beans, maize and one of the first commercial rice farming is developed here in the southern Gida area of the state by the then Northern Nigerian Development Corporation. It was reported that Kaduna got its name from the ferocious dwellers of this river, one of the major tributaries of the river Niger, the crocodiles in the house Akada, plural form Kaduna, which the name is said to be coined or derived from. Kaduna was established in the year 1912 to 1918 when the then governor of the Northern Protectorate, Lord Frederick Lugat, decided to move the capital from Zungeru, calling the Niger state, to the present Kaduna. Partly due to its proximity to the Lagos Kanu Rel. Kaduna is made up of 24 local government areas, with most of the Nildo forests located within the Kaduna North, Kaduna South, Chikun, and Igabi local government area. It has autonomous traditional institution of the Emias in the north and Chiptoms in the southern part of the state. Kaduna is also home to one of the ancient African civilization of the Nok culture. It sparked between 1500 BC to 580, known for their ancient sculptures, also called Terra Quarters. So, also, it is home to the ancient Zazo Emirate, which dates back to 9th century, with its Emirate Council at the Zaria local government area of the state, under the leadership of His Royal Highness Ahmad Nuhu Bambali. Extending over a distance of 832 meters length and 22 meters in width, the cow flyover is one of the footprints of the immediate past administration of Malam Nas Warrior Well, did I just call it cow flyover? It was named after the famous warrior of Zazo, Queen Amina of Zazo, 1576 to 1610. Kaduna is home to several establishments of national prominence. To mention but few among includes the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, the Defense Industry Corporation of Nigeria, the Nigerian Defense Academy NDA, the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, Zaria, National Commission of Museum and Monuments, the National Teachers Institute, the prestigious Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria, the Kaduna Refinery and, and then the Air Force Institute of Technology respectively. Kaduna is a highly industrial state with a lot of industry around crannies and corners of the state. In line with the vision of the then Premier of the Northern Region, Zatona Sakatosa Ahmed Bello. It was here that the first modern textile industry was established in the whole country in the year 1957. But sadly, today the Kaduna Textile Limited was the shadow of its past. A lot has been said so far. Let us go deep and explore the other side of the city. Welcome to Kedi. 
get into my luxurious Bakatka less of the tour of the city. Our first stop was the General Hassan Osman Kasana House, also called the State House. It is the office of the Secretary to the State Government, named after the last Gomno of the Northern Region, General Hassan Osman Kasana. 1933 to 1995. Standing next to the State House by his side was the headquarter of the Jamaat al Nasrul Islam, which was established in the year 1962 by the Saddam of Sokoto. This main edifice was built in the 90s. With his eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto Saad Abu Bakr as the leader. This main purpose and aim was to unite and cater for the Muslim Ummah. My next stop is the iconic Sultan Muhammad Bellomox at Unguan Sarki, which is popularly known as Sultan Bellomox. It was first built in the year 1962. This particular edifice is rebuilt in the year 1995, with its five domes and four minarets covering a space of 2,300 meter square area. The Sultan Bellomox is regarded as the central mox in Kaduna. It was here that the renowned Islamic scholar Sheikh Abu Bakr Gumi Rahimahullah dispenses knowledge to a lot of today's scholars across the length and breadth of the north. He is of the Maliki jurisprudence and the Sunni denomination. He is the first to translate the glorious Quran into Hausa language, notable for his work. <laughs> he has expertise in both tafsir and fiqh in relation to other Islamic fields of knowledge. Within the metropolis, one could only be amazed by the level of works done by the previous administration of Malam Nasri Arafai. The road networks are top notch, the infrastructure are of high standards. Enjoy your view. Kaduna State is extremely clean as well as beautiful. The greenery scenery within the city and the iconic horizon. The trees, everything just makes sense. Here is a beauty and a sight to behold. Our next stop was the popular Murtala Muhammad Square, formerly Kaduna Race Course, named after the late head of state General Murtala Rahmat Muhammad 1938-1976. The dwellers of this city nicknamed it Slimming Zoom. It was an event center, sports and recreational activities do take place here. Among some of the historic events that took place was the hosting of the then Emperor of Ethiopia in the year 1972 by the former military head of state General Yakub Gawan. He was hosted to a ground daba within this particular place. Have a view of a throwback when he was hosted. Murtala Muhammad is the home of the Kaduna Follow Club, which was established over a hundred years ago. The sport is much lively up to the day, being practiced widely. Some major tournaments like the Georgian Cup being played. Here is a throwback picture of some dignitaries within the northern region having a view of the polo game taking place. Who can you recognize among them? Let me know in the comment section below. It was here that Sokoto State lost one of its finest. 
Alhaji Sheikh Muhammad Kangiwa, the first civilian executive governor of Sokoto State, who fell to his dead wife Lane a follow game during the 1981 edition of the Georgia League. Within his three years in government, he was able to bring several developments within Sokoto, prioritizing health, education, water, sanitation, and tourism to some extent. Indeed, he was a leader that was loved, so loved by his people, but death caught him short in this particular field while playing a polo game. May his soul keep a resting in peace. I mean, this is a song sung by one of the most iconic Hausa singers, Alaji Sana Ali, and the traditional legendary music of the Hausa land. Let me know in the comment section who is your best Hausa singer or the song that you like most. They are called Wakokin Dori in Hausa language. The Murita last square is extremely taken care of. The security is top notch. So also the environment is so conducive and clean. Welcome we'll come for the sporting activities as a lot goes on here. Swimming pool, badminton, table tennis, long tennis, basketball courts, football pitch, polo and the race course are all available for you. Or to have some race and chill. Across the horizon, one could see the iconic Hamdala Hotel, whose foundation was laid in the year 1961 by Sir Ahmadu Bello Saddam of Sokoto, still standing strong. Thanks for watching into my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Do you know Kaduna or do you live within Kaduna? Which area do you want me to cover? Let me know in the comment section below. Where is your best place? Labu ubangi ji junko wa Yerda ka sodu ka dey dey Batu humara ka ya Allah Yerda ka sofa dey 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 Shika ta sarnu punga wawa Shika azamu kan dey dey Naza ka durlo kushi Allah Shara hawa